What's good, YouTube? We are back. Another video for we in Plus YouTube channel. Today, I don't know, I just decided to record randomly. I'm working, so I, I got a new job. I work from home, which is great. Um, so I have my laptop here set up in the garage, and um, so I can find and do what I gotta do, but I needed to get some stuff done to the E39 Lone Wolf because I'm actually putting the E39 up for sale, so. If you're local to Tampa, Florida, if you're interested, E39 will be up for sale with the wheels and everything that I've done. So, not up for sale and in room for another project. So, we'll see how that all turns out and should be good. But in the meantime, because I'm, I tend to be a very honest seller, I don't like to, I tend to, my name is attached to whatever it is I put out there, whether I'm selling something and if something is not up to quality, I'll just throw it away before I even try to sell something, even at a discount. But yeah, with stuff like this, I try to get cars and things to a good enough state to where I feel comfortable selling it to someone. So with that, I've been fixing a few things, adjusting a few things. I just replaced the spark plugs and the coils here recently. So that's running good. But now today I bought uh four new i bought four new what are these abs wheel speed sensors so these are for the rear and these are for the front and here's my laptop for work so i'm gonna open this up this bad boy good to go boom yeah, all right so that's good and uh then i have to move the cars around so e39 is back over there in the corner, so I'm gonna move the Atlas here, M3 in front of the Atlas, E39 here, and I'm just gonna do, because I won't be able to get the jack on this side because of the Porsche. So, I will just be working on this side. Just going one side, front and back, back the car out, bring it back in, and do the other side fact. And uh, so that's pretty much it. Move the garbage cans out of the way, open up this side of the garage and get some fresh air in here and yeah, just enjoy the day. It's Tuesday and this is what we do when we get a lull in the gunfight. We do more duties and works and to-do lists. Uh, so I'm just chipping away at that. I got my coffee and we're good to go. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, let's keep running the numbers up. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers here soon. I'm almost there and go. All right, so the cars are all switched around. So, got the M3 Atlas Porsche and good old Long Wolf. So uh, this line here is the rear ABS wheel speed sensor. Travels down here and it's here. This one did not have a bolt in there, so it's actually held up by a zip tie. Fun times, but the the actual connection is under here, so I gotta get 10 mil and uh, loosen up this fender liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Grab some gloves, put my do-rag on, and 
Make this a little bit more, uh, less dirty. All right, so disconnected that, clamp on here, kind of run it back. So now I'm just parking my way forward. So you can see it's held on by a zip tie for me. So it could be an issue, but we'll see. All right, so it's wire, it's belted back. So you see this wire goes behind there and then routes forward to go underneath. Goes forward, goes around to go back in the side there. So this, where it's supposed to be a bolt, it snapped inside of the knuckle. So it's, it's in there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to jimmy rig another zip tie thing like they right here. So I'm gonna try to rig something up again so that way it's uh it's secure, best way possible. And this is the old one. So unknown, I gotta had a light come on on the dash, so I couldn't find the code specifically for which one was faulty, so I'm just gonna replace all four. It's about 200 and something dollars in parts. So 40 each up front and then 60 each in the rear. So yeah, we good. All right, front one's pretty easy to get to. It's right here, it's that right here. Uh, disconnect. Uh, the wire itself, as you can see, runs here, and it goes to the back on this end. So it should be one bolt. I think it's a five mil uh, Allen bolt. It's right back here where my finger is, and then it might be two. Yeah, maybe two. Um, and then you pull that out and go in place. Keep it covered until you're ready to plug it up. There you go. Button up, cleaning as a whistle. All right, so that's the first half. Um, front and back on the passenger side. So essentially what I'm gonna do now is pull the car forward and turn it around, pull it back in so I can do the other side. Pretty straightforward process, as you can see. Five mil Allen key bolts for the, uh, that holds the sensor into place. And yeah, you just run the wires through the same location brackets as they are originally. And it's a pretty straightforward job. It takes about 15 minutes each wheel, once you get the wheel off and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna put the rest on camera, but again, this thing is up for sale. Completely, I've done a lot to this car. I've done all the major fail points if you will for the e39 so i did all the hard work it's not a show car by any means but it is very clean and very reliable and only has 72,000 miles on it so i think it's pretty good for 2000 so if you're interested got any questions hit me up here again comment subscribe 
that is going to be it for today's video guys i'm gonna finish this up so i can get back on the clock and finish out the rest of the day hope you guys have a good one be out peace